So this video goes over how to link your teacher copy of your digital notebook to your students so that anytime you make a change in your master copy, your teacher copy, at any time while the students are working on that notebook, they can get updates. So if you add new information, if you take information out, um, they will get those updates. So a few things you need to do. Once you are finished, or before you're finished with your digital notebook, make sure at the end you add in extra pages. So if you are working on the same notebook for a month and you think you might want to add in like 15 things, you would have to add in 15 extra pages. And so I usually just um, take a page, like a blank page, insert, um, new slide, and you could have it just sit like this. Um, and you want to title it your, um, let the students know not to use it. And then you would just like, let's say I'm only working on this notebook for a week with my students. So I would maybe make like, I don't think I'm going to make many changes. I usually do about three extra slides. Um, so that's very important because anything you, any new pages you add in, they need a place to go. So they live on those extra slides. Then you want to make a copy for your students. So I always name this, this is my version. So I want to make sure that that just lives with me and that is an important step. And then I do, um, command A. Oops. If you click on the left bar, you can do Command A, and then that will highlight all of your pages. And it's important to um, do that step. And once all my pages are shaded in orange, I can go ahead and I can paste them into a new um, slide presentation. So I already have a blank copy that I've made. It's just one slide and um, it's sitting there ready for me to copy and paste. So I'm going to do Command C to copy all the slides and Command B. So they are now in this blank presentation. I'm just going to take a minute to load. Very important here, like it doesn't work unless you do this. You need to link and keep original styles. So what this is doing is that it's telling this copy of your teacher notebook that anytime you make a change, it is going to update this linked version that you just made. And I just want to go and take this out. That was my holding place for my blank notebook. And then I'm going to copy this, um, the same title. So for me, it's ELA 10 Digital Notebook Week three student version. Again, you want to name it for being the student version so that you know. And what you're going to see is this paper clip with a little down arrow. So if I go to make a change, any change, let's say I'm just going to change this um, to say the 10th, made a mistake. Um, although sometimes you obviously make a bigger change. When you go down to this slide, it'll have the update button, and that's because I made a change on that slide. And you can tell students anytime they see a page with the update button, they should click it, and then that will change, um, bring over the new change you made. And so you can't see it, it's underneath that. Um, there are some times when a student cannot see the update button. So they might say, I don't see it anywhere. Like there's no, there's no updates. Um, you want to tell the student then to click on this down arrow and to click on linked objects and it will bring up all of the changes that you made. And at the bottom, at the bottom, they're going to see, um, what updates are available. We only made one, but they will see update all and they should click on that and it will just take a minute. That's if they don't see, like if they're saying, oh, I don't see any update buttons, but you know that you've made them and they can shut up and then it will be done. 
Um, the other thing that I am learning is that like I only assign notebooks by the week. So if I'm working on a project that covers multiple weeks, the students would need to take their work from the previous week's project or previous week's work on that project and paste it into their new notebook so that they have it all in one place. The same is true if we're doing revisions to work as a class or writing revisions and they started the pre-writing let's say in week three, but we're actually writing the essay in week four, they could go back and forth between the two notebooks. I think that gets confusing for them. So what I'm having them do is to copy and paste the pages in from their previous week's notebook, only the pages that they need. So then just their writing from the previous week or their work from the previous week is in the new notebook. And so here's what I would tell them um, how to do it. So let's say they want page 12 and they need page 12 from their week three into their week four because we're working on it, they need to do revisions. So I would tell them to notice this scrolly sidebar and to click on the page they want until it's highlighted in orange and then do control C on their Chromebook or they could go up to edit and copy, control C on their Chromebook and then into their new notebook, let's say they wanna put it um, under page 17, they would click on 17 and do control B on the Chromebook and it pops in. However, you, it's very important to tell them to link it to the original because again, any work that they do will be done in two places just in case um, they want a record of that in their previous notebook.